Changing your Apple ID without losing data is fast and easy. I'll walk you through the steps, but first hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now first head into the settings here of any device that you want, and we're gonna tap on your name at the very top. For the iPhone, you can tap on iCloud, and we need to make sure everything is backed up. So I'm gonna tap on iCloud backup, and then just hit backup now. Make sure everything is backed up. And while doing so, we're just going to go back out here, tap on see all next to save to iCloud and make sure everything is toggled on. Essentially, you're backing up everything and having redundancy on the iCloud. Now, after we've done that, all we need to do is open up a web browser again on any device, an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac computer. And from here, we're going to go to account.apple.com. So again, account.apple.com. From here, you're going to see the ability to sign into your Apple ID account as it currently is. So I'm going to sign into my account. And from here, I can change it. After I do sign in, you can see it will pop up with all these information. You can see at the very top is email and phone numbers. I'm going to tap on that and you can see these are the email addresses that can be used to sign in or are associated with your account. Now, if you want to change this, all you need to do is hit the little plus and you can enter in a new email address here. Now, keep in mind, after you enter that in, they will send a code to your email that you'll use to enter it in to confirm that you have access to that email and then hit continue. Now, after we've done that, you can always just tap on the little minus next to any of these other ones and hit remove if you want to remove old phone numbers or old email addresses. Now, after you've gone through this process, you've changed the login email and phone number associated with that account, but you've backed up everything. All you need to do is go back into your settings here. We'll go all the way back out of here to your Apple account. Scroll down to the bottom and just hit sign out. So sign out of your current version of your Apple ID account and then just log in using your new Apple ID email address or phone number and it'll keep all of your existing data because essentially we've just taken the exact same account. We've just changed your login email and your login phone number. And by logging out and logging back in, you'll be good to go and retain all of your information and you're good to go.